fans, welcome to another edition of Boxing For Real. I'm your host, Don Omega, back on this side, and Iron Truth, back on his side. We were trying something different, this just works better. Okay, anyhow, let's get to the fight. Pay-per-view this weekend. Horrible pay-per-view this weekend. Should not have been on pay-per-view, but anyhow... Definitely not now. <laughs> Hasim Rahman was beating Oleg Maskayev. Then the twelfth round came. He got knocked down. He got knocked down again. He got beat into the ropes. And Oleg Meskayev is your new WBC heavyweight champion. And wow. the the quadplex of European champions is complete. Um, White all, champions. All these champions are. Uh, yeah, this it's a new low for the heavyweight division. I'll Rough just point. leave it at that. Worst state that it's ever been in right now. Where does know. Hasim Rahman go from here? Rockman? Yeah. For, <laughs> for everybody. Say it however the hell you want now. Um, Second loss to Maskev. Unbelievable. Both um, by knockout. Yeah, yeah. This one not quite. Yeah. Well, so not as he devastating, was, but... He was hanging on to it, looked really desperate there in the 12th round when he was hanging on to his leg, and oh leg, but yeah. um, I don't know where Raman goes from here. I hope the best for him, hope he saved his money. Yeah. Um, he He's going to have a long climb back up. He can uh, go the route he took after the Ruiz loss. He can take about four tune-up fights. I mean, that would I, be the best thing for him to do. I don't know if he's going to be willing to now. To start over again like that, he yep. still after is thirty-three. Coming, after That's... coming here, if you beat, if you lost to Oleg Maskayev, you got to start questioning. Yeah. If I lost to this guy, Twice. can I really climb back up? And whoever is at the top at that point, if I couldn't even beat Oleg yeah. Maskayev, yeah. can I beat whoever will be okay. the guy that beat him? Yeah. Hopefully, the guy that will be in a better situation if Raman decides to work his way back up by the time he gets back up. Now, personally, I think he gassed. I think he got tired and just ended up getting caught well, again. they were both tired. We oh, can yeah. see that. They, they yeah. were both tired, and he, he, it looked like in the late rounds that he was getting tired. And like In the 10th tenth, like or 10th, tenth, it looked like he somewhat had a second win to me, actually, but then that didn't last too long. It, to me, it looked like he had trained for seven or eight rounds. Yeah. And now, at the way I'm not saying the way he looked. He looked in shape. Yeah. He looked very much in shape, yeah. especially at the weigh-in and everything. I was like, "Oh man, he's going to knock yeah. him out." I had no doubt. Within six rounds, I and, picked four, <laughs> and that's what I think Roman would have liked getting four. But definitely, I I'm would have. Sure, he would have liked getting a decision mm -hmm. win at this point. But anyhow, he didn't do Good it. Either. Roman, sorry, condolences. Um, Condolences we'll see what, to the heavyweight division. <laughs> sorry, people. Uh, mm. Well, hopefully we'll get through this dark time, and Armageddon may be upon us. <laughs> but any James Tony, he needs to. If if they would have given the decision to Tony like he deserved against Roman, this would have never happened. Uh, maybe it would have. Maybe it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been for a title. At least Tony would be the champ right now. So as he should be, yeah. he would be the WBA champ also. Yes, and absolutely. Anyhow, absolutely. if they actually give him his shots, he should. Yeah, he should unify. Yeah. But um, they're probably going to try unify unifying this in some kind of strange, terrible all, way. All white hopes. Yeah. Meat or something, who the hell knows? Monty Barrett has a chance to bring it back to some good when he takes on Nikolai Valuev on October 7th. So hopefully he can beat him at least. I, I don't like it, any of these champions right now. No. And I don't I'll either. leave it at that. No. Okay, <laughs> and he also on this undercard of this strange pay per view, Umberto Soto crushed uh, I, Ivan Ivan. Val, however you want to say yeah, it. Val, yeah, or something. And yeah. knocked him know. out a few times, got him out of there in four, thank God, because I was wanting to get to the main event. Yeah. He at least did that good, so yeah. And also, David Diaz came out of nowhere. He was losing this fight to Jose Armando Santa Cruz. He was losing every round. It looked like a unanimous decision win for sure for Santa Cruz, and um, David Diaz came out of nowhere and knocked him out. 
Um, kind of, kind of uh, a foreshadowing, a strange foreshadowing to the um, yeah. main event. Kind of, yeah. And uh, the less talented guy comes out of nowhere and knocks out his opponent in the last. In, it was winning the whole in the late throw. round, not yeah. the last round, but still. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, yeah. interesting and thing there. Also, yeah. Also, the first fight of the shown televised card of the pay-per-view: Vanna Smartish Rosen, the Olympian, uh, the 2004 Olympian. He had a impressive six-round. A uh, six-round decision win over Marcus Brooks, a journeyman, of course. Um, showed a lot of good speed, uh, reflexes. Dropped him in the first? Yeah, dropped him in the first round. Looked like he was going to get him out of there for sure, within the first three at least. I, it, I didn't know if he'd get out, if he'd yeah. uh, make the count, really. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, or really he'd in like the first. Come out, come out for the second. Yeah, really in the first, before the knockdown even, it looked like he was going to stop him there several times. Uh, Brooks showed to have a pretty good chin, but that doesn't matter. But Martis Rosen has some good skills, good speed. He's got all the tools. Um, you know, just a, that's 10 to 0 now, six knockouts for him. So keep your eyes on him, definitely. So. Also, we had Berto Phillips beating up Teddy Reed this week. 12th round knockout. Last round. Last round. Uh, this seems to be a theme him. this week. Yeah, dominated him the whole way through, Teddy Reed. Had a few good moments, never really did enough to really win a round. I He's don't just think. too far gone. Yeah, that's eight losses now. We um, said we were both saying before the fight even happened that the yeah. win, the loser should retire. Yeah. And the Teddy winner, Reed, it's time. Yeah, definitely. He's going to get seriously hurt if he's not already. You can tell in his speech that he's a lot slower with his talking than he was several years ago, so it's and definitely time to go. And he's been in some wars, some yeah. unnecessary wars, but any yeah. uh, some wars, nonetheless, time to get out of there. Definitely. Before you really get hurt. And, um, Bruno Phillips, mm -hmm. what's he going to do? I don't know. Nothing. Who cares? Also, Brian, Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian punch, just mm -hmm. got... Gave his title away, it looked like. Uh, he... Bad performance? Very lackluster performance by Valoria. Never got going. Uh, never let his hands go, really. Uh, it was a close fight. It was a bad performance. I had him winning seven rounds to five, but um, it was a tough fight to call somewhat. And, um, you know, definitely a bad showing from Valoria. So. And uh, a loss here isn't that surprising, really. Especially when people are used to seeing him do better. Yeah. You, these fighters know that if they don't do their best all the time, this kind of thing can happen, even if they don't deserve it. Hopefully so he does get a rematch, at least. He, he um, supposedly has a rematch clause. Yeah, that's right. Supposedly we've heard and we've read. Yeah. And we'll see what comes of that. If he gets a rematch, he should win. Yeah. Hopefully and he should knock him out then. So. Absolutely, and he was, he had a match that was in the works after this one, yeah. possibly with Koki Kamita. That's obviously off now. Yeah. It never was signed or anything. No, it's just rumored. Yeah. Discussed possibly having it, and that's fallen through now. So. That was going to be well. a huge fight. That uh, could have been a great fight. Mm -hmm. Also, um, fighting that night was the. Diosdado Gabi, he got a, you might remember him, he was the guy that fought um, Victor Chinyan and got knocked out, the guy managed by, or trained, trained. by Freddie Roach, and he got a knockout in the first round against Mauricio Pastrana, mm -hmm. only the second time Pastrana had ever been knocked out, mm -hmm. and the only other time was to uh, Rafael, Rafael Marquez, Marquez. Yeah, in the eighth yeah. round, and Marquez also took him the distance in their first fight. This so Pastrana, he, he tough. was a, a great opponent. He yeah. was a really good opponent, though. Yeah, and like he's B level, maybe even C plus well, just level. Just a very tough opponent and to deal with, yeah. obviously. Good, solid fighter, and he got knocked out in a round. Yeah, that's amazing. Stay tuned. Check us out. We're going places, and we're taking you the fans with us. Yeah. Boxing for real at gmail.com. Be sure to email us and see it.